All right, Fit to Flaunters. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to twerk. That's right, twerk. So we're going to be going over four twerking moves. The booty clap, the booty pop, the booty shake, and the booty jump. So by the time you're done with this video, you're going to be a twerking expert. Now, there's a misconception that you got to have a big booty in order to twerk. And today we're going to learn that that's not true. Anyone can twerk. It's fun and it's a good workout. The first twerking move we're going to learn is the booty clap. So anyone can do this. You want to start off with your feet hip width apart, arching the back, sticking the butt out just a little. And now I want you to think about clicking your heels together. That's right. We're literally pretending like we're Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz and we're trying to bring Toto home, ladies. So click those heels together. So now, as you keep doing this, you'll get more and more comfortable and you'll feel the rhythm. A lot of people think with the booty clap that you have to be shaking your thighs like this, but you'll see once you get your thighs to shake, then your butt will shake. Again, focus on making the thighs shake so that your booty shakes. Now, ladies, we're gonna learn the booty pop. So the booty pop, you can hold on to your pole, countertop, or you can even have your hands on your knees. So you grab onto your pole, we're bending the knees. For this move, you wanna remember to keep your shoulders down and back and focus on just moving the hips. You're going up and down, up and down, up and down. Naturally, in the beginning, people move their back and that's when it starts to feel awkward and you feel like you can't get the rhythm. So remember, your shoulders have nothing to do with the booty pop. Arch the back, shoulders down and back and focus on going up and down, moving just the booty. Once you've got it, holding onto your pole or a countertop, try it with your hands on your knees. Hands on the knees, booty out, and again, shoulders down and back and popping that booty. booty. Do not move your shoulders and try not to incorporate your upper back too much. Shoulders are down and back and you're focusing on just moving the booty. Shake it like a salt shaker, ladies. Moving on to the booty shake. Now this is where we get a little fancy, ladies. So for this one, we want to have our hands down and our knees are slightly bent and you want to think about popping the booty. So for this one, you're going up and down, up and down, up and down. The good thing about this move is that in this position, it's really hard to mess it up. Once you're on all fours and you start popping the booty, it's going to shake, trust me. And this one is definitely a workout. So sometimes you might want to get fancy with this one. You might want to bring your elbows down and pop that booty. You might want to bring it up and have one hand back. You can get as fancy as you want. For our last tutorial, the setup is the most important. So you want to sit with your knees as far apart as you comfortably can. And you want to think about arching your back and trying to keep your shoulders stacked on top of your hips. So from here, we're arching and we're squeezing. In the beginning, it's going to be very hard to isolate and do one at a time, but that's fine. Start with two and then once you get the rhythm, focus so that you can move your butt one cheek at a time. Now, the reason we don't do it here, it's not that it can't be done. For one, the booty jump is not as pronounced. For two, you're not in the perfect setup, especially if it's your first time. When you're here, it just makes it a lot easier for you to engage and recruit the muscles that you need to make your booty jump. And there you have it, ladies. With those four booty moves, you'll feel like a professional twerker in no time.